So let's say you have two tables that have a relationship to each other, and you want to insert into this two table using one function. So you will do this function right here, and the first function will insert into the first table, and this one insert into the second table. So there's a problem with this kind of approach. So the first problem is that what happens if the first function is success and the second function is fail? So this will lead to the data inconsistency because the first table will have the data, but the second table will not have the data, right? So this is the problem. And the second problem with this kind of approach, it's not a big deal, but it should be improved. If everything runs smoothly, uh, it will run something like this. So it will call from your application to database. This is insert table one, and then it will return back, and then it will call again to the second uh, table. So it will return back. So this is like two requests to the database. So um, generally, you can eliminate this one by using the, all of this problem by using the database function directly inside the database. And so let me show you how to do that. So right here, Superbase have a database function, and that th this function live inside your database. And so to do that, let me show the demo how to do that. So right here, I have the table. So I have the table one, and I have the table two right here. Okay. And so to insert into this one, I'm not gonna write the code that I show you before. So I'm going to, I'm going to create as an RPC function for this one instead. So I'm going to create this one. This one is going to be, I'm going to call this one a chain insert. And so we have the return type of this one. And so you can return anything back after this one. For now, I'm going to choose void. And for the definition of this one, so I'm going to copy from this one right here. So I'm going to copy this and then come back here. I can paste. So, so this one, as you can see, this is pretty simple. I can zoom a bit. So we first, we insert into the first table right here and we pass the and the we need an argument h and then the argument h right here so we need to have the argument so i'm going to pass the argument and the type of this one is going to be in types so it will insert into this one and then it will return back the id and store into this variable and then it will do the insert into the second table that will take the id and this one okay and for this one let's do security define that okay so this is so that this is pretty much it so first this is in, uh, insert and this is insert to the second table so the beauty of this one so right now let's say for example if let's say i make this one fail so this value need a table id right so let's say i'm gonna give a random value so let's say i'm gonna give like a, a string right here let's say random and right now let's confirm and save this one so we should be able to have this one and right now to use this one it's also easy you can click on this one there's a documentation on how to use this function as well so as you can see right here so we can copy this one so go back inside our code so this is how i run this one so right now i have written this one already so basically just call the chain insert pass the argument and right now if there's an error console if not we have successfully here okay so right now let's run this function right here so as you can see right now there's an error right here so it means the second function is failed to insert so that's why we have this error right here and if you look at the database right now if you go into the database inside the table one there's no record and the table two there's no record as well which is really nice so you can see it's block it actually blocked the second it's it actually blocked the second request it's rolled back and there's no record inside the table one which is great and if you look here so you can see the first function here is successfully but the second function fail so right now let's make it work uh, this one and so let's change from the random right here into the real uh, value that we have here and right now let's try to run this one again so you can see successfully if we come back here and if we take a look at our database we should be able to see the record very nice so right now what can you do more with the functions so for this one you can use this one to for example adding the type of this one check the type of this one as well or do con some condition so for example for the argument age right here let's say we want to argument age only bigger or equal to 10 so for this one, I'm going to copy this code right here, and then I can come back. So right here, we can check if the argument age right here, it needs to be bigger than 18. So this one that allowed to run, okay? So right now, let's hit confirm on this one. 
and so if i run this one again right here so you will see there's an error right here that this uh, age should be bigger than 18 okay all right so i think that pretty much it that's what i wanted to share with you so if you do the chain input chain insert that i show you this one right here so i think it probably you need to use the superbase or database function instead so this is a lot easier faster and easy to manage when there's some errors going on all right so hopefully you enjoyed this video so let me know in the comments what do you think and check out for more video from here